Hello everyone and welcome once again to Sparkling Autos. In this video then, as the title suggests, we're going to look at washing a car for under 60 pence and find out just how good a job will that do. Now of course there's a number of variables to consider when answering that question, not least of which would be how dirty is the car and what level of protection does the car have. Now as you can see in these shots, the car isn't particularly dirty. There's quite a few bugs on it, some of which haven't even died yet, and it has a very very light level of dust. Also, in terms of protection, if you follow the channel, you'll know that quite recently I applied the Constellation Chemicals Ceramic Snow Sealant to the car, and that was only 10 days prior to filming this one. So, in theory, this video should highlight just how important a good level of protection is when it comes to keeping the cost of your maintenance cleaning down. So, we'll break this down product by product, milliliter by milliliter, and have a look and see what the costs are. And it'll also give us an opportunity to see just how the protection is holding up after those initial 10 days. But enough waffling from me about what we're going to do, let's just get it done. So preparation being key, the first thing I do is fit my detail guards to the wheels. Now if you think these are just a gimmick part, trust me they really aren't. They just remove all that frustration you get when the hose gets caught in the tyres. So on to the pre-rinse then. Again this is one of those topics which seems for some reason to cause controversy but some people prefer to rinse the vehicle off first, and some prefer to go in straight in with your chemicals. As I've said with every process I ever record, it's entirely up to yourself. It's your car, you do it whatever way suits you. My preference is to remove as much of the loose dirt and dust as I can before going in with the chemicals. And as you can see here, which you probably would have already guessed, this will remove a lot of the stuff on the car, but it's not going to remove everything. You're still going to have a few bug contaminants that you're going to need something a bit stronger than just water pressure to remove. So we'll hose off what we can, and the sealant does seem to be doing a pretty good job. However, it's only been two weeks, so let's not start singing its praises just yet. There's a lot more testing still to do. In the meantime, let's have a look at our chemicals, see if we can get some of these bugs off, and work out how much it's going to cost us. So first up then is the Anakem Automotive Articulate Traffic Film Remover. Now as you can see on the screen, this comes in at £9 for the 2 litre bottles I have which equates to 0.45 pence for 1 mil or 4.5 pence for 10 mils that we're going to use. Now as half pennies are a thing of the past, we'll just round it up to 5 pence. And then move on to the Ultrafoam, which is the same pence per mil, which should have actually been diluted down to 30 mils in a 750 mil solution, i.e. 1 part in 25. But long story short, I poured too much in. So I ended up using 40 mils, which worked at 18 pence. Now we move on to the Gleam Shampoo. So the 1 litre bottle I'm using here retails at £13.95, equating to 1.4 pence per milliliter, and as we're using the 1 dose of 25 mils, that works out at 35 pence. Gives us a running total of chemicals so far of 58 pence. Now obviously this is based on the size of bottles I had available. If you're buying a larger quantities, you're going to save even more money. And if you look in the description below, you'll see a discount code which will save you even more. So now that I've worked out the costs at the minimum dilution ratios, let's see if the products are any good. Because if they don't do the job you're expected, they might as well be free for all the use they are. So starting with Articulate in my trusty 8 pound garden pump sprayer, which along with the detail guards and all the other hardware I use, including my camera gear, you can see in the links below. The Articulate is applied at 1 part in 80, which works out at 1.25% across the entire car. We then cover it in the Ultrafoam, which as I said earlier, I'm using at 40 mils in a solution of 750 mils water. Now that's fairly well diluted for a snow foam, I'm sure you'll agree, but as you can see it going on the car, it still provides a reasonably thick foam. What you will also notice is that despite the fact it may look somewhat milky going on, it does well. You have that initial runoff for a few seconds and then it stops, it just kind of sits on the car and you can leave it on there for up to 5-10 minutes depending on the weather. Bear in mind also that if you're using this at the recommended dilution rate and you're normally making up a 500ml solution, that's only 20 mils of product you would need, which is half of what I used, which is 9 pence for a wash in snow foam. Now that's about as cheap as you're going to get, but as I've said, that cost is completely irrelevant as it doesn't do the job. So now that we've left the two products to dwell for 5 minutes, let's rinse them off and take a look and see just how they have performed. I'm sure you'll agree here that this has done a pretty reasonable job of actually cleaning the car and if you had access to a blow dryer and you were able to remove all the water without having to actually make contact with the vehicle I would be quite satisfied to, to drive it in this condition. 
As you can see in these shots, it removed at least 95% of what was there in terms of dried bugs and, and grime on the, the bodywork. Just maybe the odd little bit that's going to need a bit of contact, just the, the bigger one there that was on the bonnet. Which is exactly what we're going to do in a few seconds, but if you were stuck for time, I would be quite satisfied with it in this condition. Bearing in mind that we've actually only spent 23 pence so far, I think that's pretty impressive. But we're not going to stop there, we're going to remove the rest of these products, which is actually very easy to do as they are so well diluted. And we shall continue with the contact wash. So on to the actual contact wash then, and surprisingly, despite the fact I only used a single dose this time, as opposed to the double dosage I used on the previous video, it didn't feel any less slick, and there wasn't really a noticeable difference in the level of suds either, and as you can see here, it still produces a good thick foam, and it still loads the pad up very well. Now with the single dose, is it the foamiest product out there? Possibly not. Is that important? That's a subjective matter. So long as it's slick and goes across the bodywork and more importantly cleans the paintwork, that's really all I look for in a shampoo. It feels good, it smells good and it does a good job. I said the last time I used it I was impressed with it and I'm no less impressed even after using half the dosage. And here's just a wee accidental visual glimpse of what I mean by the slickness. When I threw the pad over to do the other side of the windscreen, by the time I got over to the other side, I noticed that it started to slide down. It might seem a bit trivial, but this type of pad it doesn't normally do that for me. It just caught me a bit off guard for a second, so I thought I'd leave it in the video as it was a bit interesting. Well, it was to me anyway. So what about the shampoo itself? Well, I said the last time I used it that I really liked it, and I'm standing by that, even using it at the half dosage. Yes, it's 35 pence for a wash. It's not the cheapest on the market, but it's certainly by no means expensive. I could quite happily pay 35p for shampoo every time I wash the car. I would like to add at this point as well, a few people have messaged me after the previous video on this, saying that they wanted to try the products, but that the shipping costs were too much, that it was costing £10 to ship to mainland UK. But I did check with Ross from Manakim Automotive, and what he told me was that all orders over £30 included free delivery. And as I mentioned earlier about a discount code, if you're spending over £30, if you use the code SPARKLING10, you'll get an additional 10% off at the checkout as well. Do just be aware that there may be some exclusions in that, certain accessories for example, but by all means, take a look at the website and feel free to use the discount code. Just for the record, I don't get anything back from that. Sure, and it is just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. And just on the subject of supporting the channel, please, 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 if you enjoy the video, do press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And when you subscribe, remember to go in and click the bell notification, and that way you'll be notified of future videos. But back to this video, and as you can see, the shampoo rinses off very well. It's left the paintwork looking very clean, and the protection underneath, as you can see here with the water behavior, it's still doing its thing, and hasn't been in any way negatively impacted by these products. Now we've just to dry the car off, I'm not going to bore you with a commentary on this, we'll do the same thing in every video, dry the glass, then dry the bodywork, blah blah blah, you've heard it all before. But I will just say that the towel I'm using here is the, the Dreadnought towel from County Detail, it's 12 it's a really really good drying towel if you want to have a look at it. And in terms of ease of drying the car, considering we're not using any finishing products, the towel just glided over, it's still very very slick the paintwork, so, so far in this process, I'm very very pleased with the products we're using. And as we watch this happy looking gentleman dry the roof off, 
Just a reminder that we've only used 58 pence in total in products to wash this car now. Of course we're not taking into consideration equipment, cloths, water etc. But just the chemicals alone, 58 pence. I think it's very reasonable to clean a car to this standard. So we reached the end of another video and I'd like to thank you once again for watching and um, don't forget to check out Anakenum Automotive and if you do decide to order anything don't forget to use the 10% discount code. As always if you have any comments, suggestions, observations just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you and take care.